What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This free general click reading for all signs. Cap two, Sagittarius, everybody in between. Don't forget basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general click reading. Love you guys. If you'd like to donate, High Priestess Row Five. The links in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash. No Venmo. Um, love and appreciate all the donations. Um, and if you'd like to book, book a personal reading, um, the information's in the description box below. I don't have any slots open um, as of right now. Just let it right now. Okay. So um, the channel message I received was. Uh, <clears throat> oh, yeah. Sorry, brain fart. The channel message I received was um, someone thought you would be so, so, so depressed. Um, I heard, but you're not. And then I heard strength of a lion. Strength of a lion, baby. So you plug it in how it resonates. They have gossiped about you so badly. It is about to backfire on them in a huge ass way. They have gossiped about you for years and done horrible things to you. Okay, so whoever this is, they gossiped about you for years and done horrible things to you. And they, uh, they wanted you to be depressed. So, um, something has happened. I feel some kind of tower moment or tower moments as type energy has happened to where they were hoping you would be depressed is what I think. Um, I didn't hear that. I just intuitively feel that. But, but they helped make the tower moment or moments happen. Or they did make the tower moment or moments happen. How there is a name. Um, they were definitely in on it. Definitely in on it, is what I heard. They were definitely in on it. So they were definitely in on helping the tower moment or moments happen. And they wanted you to be depressed. So the whole game plan in this was them working behind the scenes to make, uh, help you, um, not help you, them working behind the scenes to help create these tower moments so you would make yourself depressed and, and they could say, well, I see I told you they'd be depressed and blah, 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 blah. But I heard you're not. You're not. And it's about to seriously backfire on it. Um, I heard they've been gossiping and slandering your name for years. Well, it should backfire on them because they should keep saying their lane and keep their words, use their words appropriately. If they don't know on person, people, place, or situation, because gossip can be true or it can be not true. This is true gossip, like not true. Like they're just talking out their ass. And that's just the truth. They were just talking out their ass. Definitely not true. Definitely not true is what I just heard. Definitely not true. Yeah. De I felt it definitely wasn't true, but, um, but, um, that's confirmation from spirit. Definitely not true. But, um, but I heard it's about to backfire on them. I heard strength of a lion. So you have, I feel for some of you might be fire signs or have fire in your chart. Uh, somehow I feel lion is significant. Spirit messages you have for some people. I just do. So maybe for some of your fire sign or you have fire in your chart or you're just taking on fire sign energy. How did that resonate? I heard stop. Okay. Um, I was hoping to get the lion out. <laughs> but I didn't. I got firefly. But I heard it's about to backfire on them in a huge way. So I think the truth is about to get illuminated here. See the illumination of the firefly. When the fireflies go outside at night, it lights up the night sky. Truth's about to get illuminated. You're not depressed. They wanted you to be so depressed though. I think for whoever these people are, they are depressed, is what I think. And they want you to be depressed. Well, hell, you're not them. And I don't care how bad you try to beat somebody down, you're still not that person. And you're not them in that situation. And that's just the truth. I don't care how bad somebody tries to beat and knock you down. There's serious mental health issues there, and it's about to exacerbate on these people. They have messed with the wrong one. There's serious mental health issues there, and I heard it's about to exacerbate on these people. Uh, they messed with the wrong one. So they wanted you to be depressed. They wanted you to have mental health issues. They wanted you to be down, and they were secretly behind the scenes working probably with two or two plus like group S type energy. To help create these power moments for you. And whatever they were, they were not nice to you. I'll tell you that. They were not nice. So they used dirty tactics behind the scenes anyways. 
strategically to knock you down. And now they want you depressed. That's mental health issues in itself because you should just move on and let the person be happy. And that's just the truth. Um, whoever you are, I, I don't think you're depressed. Definitely not depressed. Definitely not depressed. You're definitely not depressed. Yeah, you're not depressed. You moved on. You accepted what happened, happened, and whatever the hell it was, I didn't hear specifically what it was. It wasn't pretty, I'll tell you that. And yeah, it sucks. Those kind of negative power moments happen. Trust me, I've had a lot of shitty shit happen to me in my life. A lot. Uh, four job losses, wrongful terminations in my city. Um, my kids currently are not with me, and I had full custody of them for many years. Many years. A year time. Many years. All by myself. Um, which I love doing it, me and my kids. I loved it. But those have been huge power moments for me, is what I'm saying. Huge power moments. Um, but I moved on. I moved on. And that's just the truth. You cannot control what the universe, ha what happens in the universe sometimes. And you definitely cannot control other people. And that's the truth. Uh, nor would I ever want to control anybody. Um, but a lot of people have control issues, is what I'm saying. So. Um, I feel these people that were secretly trying to control something behind the scenes, I heard a lot of them have mental health issues, and I feel they're probably depressed. They're depressed, and they want you to be depressed. They want you to be like Eeyore. They want you to be Dale. And blah, 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 blah. But I heard you're not. You're not. You're not like them, basically. They want you to be like them, but you're not. I heard it's about the backfire in this way. So kudos to you, sir, ma'am, whoever you are, okay? I think you're the firefly. I think you light up the world. I think you light up. I think you light up your energetic space. And I think these people want you to be down and in the dumps so you would go crawl into them. Is exactly what I think. That's exactly what I think. That's exactly what they wanted. But it's about to backfire in a huge way. Ooh, that's confirmation. That's exactly what they wanted. But it's about to backfire in a huge way. Yeah. You're the light to them, you guys, whoever you are, lion energy. You're the strength of a lion. You have a lot of strength. Just saying, just, you may have masculine or feminine. You have a lot of strength, strength of a lion, and you are their light. You're their light. They don't want you to know it. That's exactly what it is. I heard, and I heard it. That's what it was. Oh, my God. Whoa. Let me see if I hear anything else. Hey, you guys, I've walked five miles today. I'm about to go out and walk five more, just to let y'all know. I hope everybody's getting out there and exercising. Just saying, just saying. And someone's husband is starting to exercise now and eating better, and it's pissing off a wife in a huge way because she knows you're motivating him. She thinks you're secretly conversating with him behind the scenes, but you're not. It's causing huge conflict in behind closed doors there. Oh, Lord. So you played in Congress? Holy shit. Okay, so, uh, oh, my God. I heard you're not. <laughs> Sorry, that's kind of funny. <laughs> Whoa. Your online public platform. You have an online public platform. You have an online public platform, sir, ma'am. You can be a masculine or feminine. But somebody's husband, I heard, is exercising and eating better because of you. So he's getting his health together because of you. You're inspiring him. But it's through an online public platform. You've got some kind of online public platform business or you might have a business or it just might be something you're posting on an online public platform, how that resonates and applies. Um, but how that resonates, he's you're posting something on your online public platform, I'm presuming, and it's inspiring him, whatever this is. But whoever this is, he has a wife. He has a legally married wife, and she thinks you're secretly communicating behind the scenes with him, and it's causing behind the scenes closed door fights there. Someone else is getting a huge wake-up call. Oh, my God, someone else is getting a huge wake-up call. That could be the illumination, too. Hopefully, he tells her. But in another behind-the-scenes closed-door um, session, that he's not communicating with your ass and shut that shit down. And that's just the truth. That's sick. Well, it's not sick. It's not sick. But 
the right thing. It, I think you watch, husband. I think I'm picking this up for a reason. So I think you, husband, watch my channel and you, wife, watch my channel is exactly what I think. There's a reason I'm picking this energy up. So husband, whoever this is, of course, you could take the advice or leave it, husband. But if I was you, I would have a frank face-to-face -face conversation with your wife behind closed doors as not to embarrass her in public. And tell her, now, I heard there is no behind-the-scenes conversation. So whoever is inspiring you, sir, whoever it is, it's somebody online. It could be me, it could be somebody else. But somebody's inspiring you, but you definitely watch me, I feel, because I'm picking you up. Um, have a frank-to-frank, face-to-face conversation with her and tell her you're not conversating, secretly conversating with this person. Um, because she's like, she's like, I feel she might be raging over there or something. Um, just, you know, to kind of calm the waters. Someone's about to be so mortified. Someone's about to be so mortified. Maybe it's the wife that watches. I don't know, but somebody's about to be so mortified. I don't know, but I heard it's not happening. There is no behind the scenes conversation, but it's good. Hey, listen, it doesn't matter if you're married or not. An inspiration to get out there and get your butt moving and to get healthy and to eat healthy. I don't care who that comes from. You don't have to be a wife or a husband to inspire your somebody to get out. You know, just because you're legally married to somebody, you can have inspiration from other people is what I'm trying to say. To get out there and move your body and to eat healthier. Those are good things. You don't have to be somebody's wife or husband to inspire that. Somebody in the freaking street can inspire that. And whoever this is, it is somebody on social media. There's nothing wrong with that. That's a good thing. If the wife is watching, just saying, just saying. Man, we went left quick, but just saying, just saying, okay? Okay, I didn't hear anything else. All right, well, we're done. I love you guys. I hope this helped and I'm going to say.